If anger could create electricity, the Durham Community Center should have been seen from miles away this past Thursday, where roughly 400 people basically told the Florida-based wind energy company Nextera to get out. Exactly what is it that we have to do to make you people pack up your bags and go away? One by one, members of the public from West Gray and the surrounding area voiced clearly their displeasure of a 12-turbined wind farm going up in their community. Dozens of politicians showed up, various people documented the entire meeting, and police remained on scene for the entirety. And the fact that the Nextera project manager was available to field questions from the angry audience speaks volumes of her bravery. Just because you're not getting the answer that you want to hear doesn't mean that we're not acting responsibly to try and get an answer to the questions. Questions regarding property value, health concerns, and the way the project has already gone about are just some of the issues that were raised, some of which Nextera's representatives were not prepared for. Residents acted accordingly when they didn't receive the answers they wanted, saying Nextera has still left a poor impression. It is clear that they are not interested in really communicating with people who live in this community. It was clear to me that they have every intention of carrying on with this project, regardless of the fact that a room full of, I would estimate, what, 400 people let them know loudly and clearly that we do not want this project in this community. Nextera plans to move forward with the development despite the public outcry saying plans will proceed while studies are conducted to ensure West Gray is the right location. We are going to continue to develop this project. We are going to continue to do the environmental studies to verify whether or not this is a suitable location to build a wind farm. We've already figured. And if it is suitable, Carmen Crow will have to reroute more of her drives. She says she is so adversely affected by wind turbines that she has to strategically plan her daily commutes to avoid the nauseating symptoms. It's anywhere from a severe headache, uh, I'll get chest sensations, and queasiness, dizziness. I've had one occasion when we drove through them where I had vertigo for a while, which is that spinning sensation. West Gray Council, along with many other area councils, support a moratorium. Nextera is disappointed about that, but still plan to submit an application to the Ontario Power Authority with hopes of construction starting by spring 2011. We're not going to let it happen, and I think the mood in this room this evening was pretty indicative of that. In Durham, for Eastlink News, I'm Chris Campbell.